Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, as we look at uh, the uh, year 2021 so we talked about Windows 10 in the previous uh, 10x in the previous video what about Windows 10 what do we know about Windows 10 in 2021 so for a while we thought there would be only one feature update one big feature update and nothing more but it would seem that uh, we will have two updates, but one will be, and the next one will be minor. And they're going to reverse the minor and uh, big feature updates also at the same time. So for the past two years, what we've had is a major feature update at the beginning of the year, first half of the year, and a minor cumulative update the second half of the year. And that's the way people are probably happy and accept the fact that we're going like that. The fact that it's a small cumulative update also lowers the risk of major problems. And uh, it is interesting to note that um, that has changed from, you know, 2015 when Microsoft said that we would have two major updates. They even had one moment when they actually thought it would be nice to even have three major feature updates, which would be, uh, have been completely crazy. So in 2021, we're going to reverse. That means that instead of the first half of the year being a major update, it will be a minor cumulative update again. That will have a little bit of tweaks, not really many new features, but it will be there. Um, from what we know is that minor update will exist. So the reason why they have reversed also is because Windows 10 X will take probably a lot of uh, the manpower and the brain power for that release in the first half. And we know that Windows 10 X will have another release and that will be in the first half of 2022. So that also means that toward the first half of 2022, if we look really far in the future for Windows, uh, will also probably be a small cumulative update at the same time, because they'll coincide a small update for Windows 10 as they release a major update or a major version of Windows 10 X. The second half of 2021 is going to be very interesting. The version that will be called 21H2 is going to be the next feature update. And this we haven't seen, so we've seen a few hints here and there. I've shown you a few things in some of the pictures and the uh, way that Microsoft did some demonstrations and kind of uh, showed us a little bit of the future, what it looks like. And apparently it's in, er, internally being tested quite a lot right now at Microsoft also. The, uh, that feature update will contain a major overall of the user interface of Windows 10. They're going to modernize it a little more, give rounded edges rather than you know sharp square edges they're going to have um, different uh, animations and different styles of uh, fade out and fade in when you actually open and close windows. There's going to be a change to the fonts, the way that the things are looking. Is it going to be a good thing? Is it going to be a good change? That we'll know when we start testing it. Um, insiders are still have not had anything that hints at the future of Windows right now. So we aren't really ready yet to say if that's a good thing or a bad thing. One thing for sure, I think it's going to be nice to have a refresh. And this is going to kind of keep up Windows 10 for the future a little bit more by refreshing its interface, making it more modern looking. One of the things that we, uh, there's a hint towards also, is that it would actually be something that you can say yes or no. That means you could stay to the standard interface that you have right now if that's all you need. And you would be able to turn that on if you wish. And the reason why is because they're thinking of enterprise. You know, one of the biggest things that enterprise don't want is a new look in Windows and everything changed. Because employees get lost and then you have to, you know, show the employees how it works again. So by giving a on-off switch... It lets anyone that doesn't want that new uh, update or that new look to turn on and, of course, keep the same feel so people don't feel lost. I think that on-off switch is not a bad idea. 
And that means that you can choose to actually have it. And a lot will, and tech enthusiasts will probably want it on. And if you're just a regular Windows user and you just feel like you're happy with the way it is, it'll just keep it at off. Is it always going to stay like that? We don't know, but that is a hint that we have right now also. So that's pretty much the 2021, and that's I think is going to be an interesting year to uh, see the feel and the new direction of Windows 10 at the same time with those changes coming up in uh, 21H2. As for the version numbers, because a lot of people are asking me this, I said, well, you know, I um, there's a version like 2004 and, and so on, and when they go to the Windows version in the October 2020 update, they're a little baffled by that 20H2, and they say, so it's not finished. Yeah, it is, <laughs> because that's the new version numbers going forward. So the next cumulative update in 21H1, in the first half of 2021, is going to be giving you version 21H1 when you look at the Windows version. It probably will, that, that's the other thing that I was wondering, since it's another small update, will that increment the build number just by one also? Will that just push us to 1904.3. something? That is a possibility, which would mean that the May 2020 update, the October 2020 update, and uh, whatever update of the first half of 2021 would all be synced in the same, pretty much the same version of Windows. They might also choose to do a tweak and push it forward to another version or another build, but that's, uh, you know, with a small cumulative update, it might just be that. The big build number change will come at 21H2, the next feature update, the big feature update in the second half. So looking forward to 2021, we'll see what all of this will bring and uh, we'll see if Windows 10 uh, is going to have uh, such a big change in how it's going to go. We always have to remember that Microsoft changes its mind quite regularly, so it can change at any time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.